communication needs. And I don't mean by those the temporary problems that we have of not being able to hear in a noisy environment or not being able to understand people when you're visiting a country where the language is not your own all the problems you have if you've got a cold and you can't use your voice effectively. The kind of speech, language and communication needs that I'm talking about are the ones I want you to imagine if you had a stroke, if you were involved in a road traffic accident and had suffered brain injury, if you had damage to your vocal cords and you would find that you were then not able to use the speech skills that you had gained previously, that you would have difficulty in understanding what was being said to you, that you have problems in making your needs known. These are the kinds of speech, language and communication needs that we see in adults. That we know that there are about 300,000 people who have a stroke every year and have communication problems that go with that. But also you can have communication difficulties and communication needs as a child. In inner city areas, we know from research that 50 to 60 percent of children can start school with a language delay, so they're not ready to learn appropriately. Children with delayed language can become isolated, can become frustrated, they're not able to make their needs known. And we know that 60% of young offenders have speech, language and communication problems that have not been identified early on in their lives. And that has an impact on the way they respond to rehabilitation. We also know in this year of thinking about the King's Speech of disfluency problems, people who have difficulty with stammering, those who have voice difficulties. So when we think about speech, language and communication needs, it covers all of these areas. And here at De Montford University, we train speech and language therapists, the key professionals who work with people with these difficulties. And we have just celebrated 60 years of teaching speech and language therapy in Leicester. Thank you.